Hi everyone, welcome back. This is the second video. This is meant to be much shorter. This is about the easiest and quickest ways to get the information we want from a table. So mode, the first one of all, mode, the one we call, I call the one that turns up the most. And if you have a look at it here, this was the survey I did with a number of cats and dogs in my year eight class the other day. And there were two families that had none. There were six families, what's a trap? Six families had one, four families had two, one family had three, and as probably as expected, a lot of families will only have one pet. They might have lots of fish and other things, but we're just talking about cats and dogs. A lot of families only have one. You can see a lot of families have two and even more. So the most, the one that turns up the most is actually one. Now what's the trap? It's not the six. The six tells you that it's the number one. So that means six families in my class on that day had one dog or cat. Then if I go to the next one, the range, the range is the highest, minus the lowest, or the biggest, minus the smallest, whatever you want to call it. So I look down to here now, here's where people get trapped as well. I've got the six still here, but no one had six. No one had six dogs and cats. So I go back to this one here, the highest score then becomes one family had five dogs and cats. So that was a five. It's not a one. So the biggest number of dogs and cats in any of the families in my class on that day had five, that's the biggest. So if you want to write biggest and you write the smallest or the largest and the smallest, whatever you want to call it. And that one there is the smallest. Some family had no pets, no dogs and cats, I should say. They might have horses and all sorts of animals. So five take zero is not the answer. The answer is actually the five. Now, I'm actually going to jump to the mean because there's this wonderful thing called fx column. And that's what's a shortcut for it. If I put an fx column there, this one's called f for frequency, and in statistics, the scores are called x. So when we say fx, we're saying multiply that number by that number. So in the real case, we had two families that had none. So two lots of zero is zero. We had six families that had one, so six lots of one is six. If you watch the previous video, you see it on there. Um, a longer explanation. We had four families who had two. Four twos are eight. We had one family that had three. We had four families that had four. And we had one family that had five. So if we looked at that FX column, I could do it the long way, and I'd say I had a zero, plus a zero, plus a one, Oops, plus a one, 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 and I can go through writing all those out. But instead of writing all those out, I've got two lots of zero. So watch what I've got over here. I've got two lots of zero, which is zero. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six lots of one, which is six. So if we talk about the number of dogs and cats in my family, so on average, we're looking at all these numbers here. I could write down, 0 plus 6 plus 8 plus 3 plus 16 plus 5. And then I can say how many people were in, in the survey in that class on that day. So here we go. I had 2. Another 6 makes 8. Another 4 makes 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So if I put an N equals 18 there, there were 18 people who completed the survey. So when I add up an average or a mean, I add up all the scores and I divide by the number of people. So that's, the, now watch what this is called here. This one here is called the sum of the FX column. Now in statistics, I use this little sign, which is a capital sigma, the Greek letter sigma, which means just add those numbers up. So I don't really need to know that at this point in time. I just got to know to add up the numbers. So I can go across these and go 14, 15, 16, 17, uh, 27, 37, 38, and I've got 38 on 18. Now, a lot of times in assessments, 38 on 18 is four marks. Depends on your teacher. If you go, how many times does 18 go into 38? 18 plus 18 is 36. So it goes in twice. And if we had 36, there's two left over. So that's two. And just remember, if we're talking about 18th, they stay 18th there. We could simplify that to two and one ninth. Now, another thing we can do, I know that a ninth is... 2.1 repeater. So you could write 2.1 repeater. A lot of people will accept answers like 2.11 or 2.111. 1, 1, 1. 
as long as you make it fairly accurate and clear what you're doing. So that's using the FX column. Now here's the big one. Getting a median from a table is a bit hard. If you're writing them out, it's easy. But what we're going to look at here is that we have 18 scores. So if I wrote all the scores out, I could figure out where the middle was. But when I got 18 scores, I have two middles. And my favourite example is my four fingers. So I've had four scores. There's two in the middle. There's one this side, there's one that side, and we're left with two in the middle. So when there's an even number of scores, you get two middles. Interesting though, out of four scores, there's my first, oh, from your point of view, my first and my second and my third and the fourth. So the second and the third are the middles. So if I go to 18 and I halved 18, so if I said 18 divided by two, I get nine. Interesting part, go back to this one. If I halve the four, I get two. There's a second. So it's not just the second, it's the second and the third. So if I had six scores, there's two middles. There's my two middles there. So if I go half a six, I get three. So there's the third one just there. So the third and the fourth one are the middle. So if I go 18 and 2, I get 9. That's the ninth and the tenth scores are the middle. So if I want to figure out the ninth score, I can go down here and I go, there was a zero and a zero, that's two. And then there's a one and 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 a one. So, so far I'm up to eight scores. So the ninth score will be a two and the tenth score will be a two. So it's not a four. The ninth score will be a two and the tenth score will be a two. And a lot of people really struggle with that. So in the moment I'll do it the long way for those who struggle. But if you can see it, there's an even number of scores. You have it, which is nine. And we get the ninth and the tenth. And hopefully you remember me doing the four of those. Half oh, four is two. That's the second and the third. So you have the 18, you get nine, and the ninth and the tenth are both two. So if I started writing these out, I'd have zero, zero, one, 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 one. So I'm up two. I've written zero twice. I've written one six times. Now I write two four times. One, two, three, four. And it keeps going. So what do I want? The ninth score. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's the ninth score, and there's the tenth score. So if there's two middles and they're both two, the median is two. So if it's two and two, they become two. If the numbers are different, then you gotta calculate what it is. So the median is two. So you don't write two and two, you just write two. Oh, I hope it helps. It's getting too long-winded again. <laughs>